Uh, today we're here in Atlanta, uh, a little bit north, northwest of Atlanta, at the Brandy Wine and Benedictine Railroad. This is a very outstanding HO gauge layout. Uh, that's on part of the uh, Dixie Rail operating schedule for this week. Seen it. All these poor guys yeah. getting in your way. Well, nah. Nah. Like, That's what this is about, so people. Like this is what I like. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. the newest diesel in the park. Right. On the street. For all of you model railroad fans, this is a great case. When you play on a railroad, give yourself places to work. This homestead was better than my homestead. The last homestead. So crappy. You look at my yard and all the track goes ch -ch 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 like that. It's unbelievable. I'm, I'm making a deal with John Earl yeah. to buy his home a bed. A home a bed, yeah. You know, like when the stairway came down? It's going to be the there's, there's one more product called Micro. Okay. Oh, right. you're handling it too? Well, sometimes because I use Central Valley tie strips. And they're hollow underneath. And if, okay. if the bar just kind of takes them and never lets go, you can hand spike it. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's my back. Bass clock. I think I got hand laid. Back. Controllers. This area is obviously under development as a steel mill. We're missing the track. has all of his cars and everything done, so for the purposes of uh, display until we get around to it, let's just put them in place. get back here during the session I have seen this once before these signals and everything actually operate they come down when the train approaches There you go. Oh yeah, two inches of dust on it. Mine doesn't have dust, but I got parts laying everywhere. Yeah. We started this project we started a long time ago.
Engine, engine terminal with attached yard. Yes. Yeah. Trees make a big difference in the water. Right? Yeah, it helps. Yeah, man. Good idea right here. Put the platform in in front of the for the cars. It also serves the purposes so the cars can get knocked off the railroad. buildings back there in a place which you can't reach anyway. Mm -hmm. tell you from the first video that I saw several years ago of this a tremendous amount of scenery work has been done My favorite building. <laughs> Jim and I got into kit bashing this thing about 16 different ways. <laughs> and you can't get them anymore. Federal coal storage. Well, this is the original Hoffa cement. Yeah. Bill Wisher saw yeah, this, and that's when Walter started doing the Hoffa cement. I have the Hoffa cement plant on my lap, and I have my motto. You know the company's motto? Mm -hmm. We keep your feet in concrete? Yeah. Well, mine was concrete solutions for industry. Yeah. <laughs> and so they just opted not to get any any manual brakes right. on their locomotive. So Speaking of, that's Norm Stencil, the proud owner of this here. railroad. So I just it up. And head track cleaner. Comes with being owners. And there's a car in the museum there that said, brakes optional, $10. Oh, yeah. I mean, brakes optional. Brakes optional, yeah. This is really outstanding. Boy, from the video I saw of this place well, you know, two years ago. Wow. Yeah, it looked a lot different. Wow. Yeah. A lot of, it was a lot of brown paper. Put feet through this one. Drag a big stick. That's great. It is. It is. And then we did the lost division. Did you see that movie, Radio? I've been walking around. Interesting observation here. 
clips those, but I never well, None of the track is, is ballasted. The cork road bed, the rail painted, and the hand laid ties. This is hand laid track. All of it. You use standard ground throws, feels probably in most places. Anything you can reach. But there is no ballast. And it's very effective. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. That's it. Bring a tree. Uh. By the end of the year, we'll have it all. This is a depiction of an actual scene on the railroad, on the real road. It does. It does. Well, if you don't make it run like that, you can't run it. Yeah. Yeah. Just took out the middle axle. Nobody could see it, but now you not. We've got a four-wheel truck that, that tracks a long way with a four-wheel truck that tracks a lot better than This is kind of hard to get a shot of because I can't get in back far enough. Ron Roberts. Very effective scenery. And then uh, when I worked at Ditch Tracks, I had access to an Alps print, and I did a lot of them on the Alps print. The waterfall in the back. Scene he's developing here. Time to develop it, but believe me, it's out of row houses. Allegheny, West Virginia. He uses car cards. These are obviously set up for trains and staging off on switch in the staging tracks. Every, you know, you get done with the session, this and all is a of a sudden, staging a control and dispatcher's office. Nobody would office. ever see him put it on the layout. And uh, it's kind of like a badge of honor now. Every one of the layouts has got a Disney <laughs> character on it somewhere. <coughs> but uh, I'm mid-50s, but i got a brand new BMW sitting next to the whorehouse, and no one's ever picked up on it. Well, that's like I've, I've still got, the, I've got a copy of my pickup. Okay. My, my 2000 Ford pickup truck is sitting at one end, and then there's a Sherman tank at the other end that says yard. You just can't buy it. And I try to keep these bikes around. In fact, every now and then you'll, you'll see it. Wow. But I didn't really like it. But other than that, uh, it's pretty simple. One thing on this world, and nobody gets killed permanently. <laughs> uh, we do get killed occasionally. We just start over. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're here to have a good time. I've tried to eliminate 
to model a lot of the stuff on the railroad that's fun. The mundane stuff I've tried to avoid. Um, you know, it's not unheard of to sit in a siding for a long time, but it's TTTO, and a lot of that depends on how well you interpret your. Okay, and